Michael, dude, the people have spoken as Microsoft apologizes to JAMA Games over an Otria delay on Xbox. Tom Henderson over Insider Gaming. Earlier this week, JAMA Games announced that in Otria, the last song has been indefinitely delayed on Xbox due to communication issues with Xbox and how now updated players that Microsoft has since apologized. <laughs> he spoke with the CEO of JAMA, JAMA Games about the issue. He confirmed that the studio had, had has had communication issues with the publisher for a number of months. The lack of communication meant that the developers had no choice but to delay the game for the platform. But he assured me that once the issue is resolved, they'll get the game on Xbox as soon as possible. Today, well, fans got the update they wanted on Discord. As Greco wrote on Discord, quote, they, Microsoft, contacted us and said, sorry about the situation. We're trying to solve everything as soon as possible. And quote, Michael, Another misstep on the long road of 2024 for Xbox. Yeah, at least this misstep they've at least, according to the CEO of Java Games, attempted to correct, right? Good yeah. to hear that. I mean, it's unfortunate that he basically had to come out and bash them and, and said a lot of things that I'm sure as soon as Xbox reached out, he probably was like, maybe I should have gone as far as saying <laughs> Xbox doesn't care about the fans. But glad this one has been resolved for now right i still don't think we actually have an official xbox release so i'm curious how delayed this gets it's another one of those games that well i'm not a souls guy just watching the trailer kind of caught my eye but again can't pick it up but i'm glad this gets resolved i hope this happens with some of the other titles we have questions about right like a black myth wukong hopefully we get some news there but at least it sounds like microsoft's moving in the right direction drew it looks like maybe they're finally realizing yeah, wow, we maybe made a mistake by just kind of blowing people off or whatever happened. I don't know the full details. Glad Microsoft reached out. Glad this got resolved. Hopefully this doesn't become a trend because it is concerning that this happened with numerous games and it took a CEO publicly bashing Microsoft before they finally at least fixed one of their issues in 2024. Yeah, that's just it. I saw the CEO actually comment on Twitter as well saying, hey, Phil Spencer, you got a hold of us. He's helping us. Thank you, Phil Spencer. I'm like, okay, well, at least Phil's stepping up to say, hey, I'm, we're sorry, we screwed this up. Mm. It is coming to PlayStation. It's coming to PC, right? September 19th. Dude, I can't wait for this game. I'm not a Souls guy. I'm so down for this game. It, it was incredible. Summer Game Fest. I'm telling you, even if you're not that Souls-esque person, give, give this one a shot because that's what I, that is not me at all. But I'm down for this one. This is so cool. Had an absolute ton of fun. And I was like, man, so many more people are going to miss this on Xbox why like what are you doing so i'm hoping that they come through uh like the ceo already said when we covered this earlier that the game is ready it is the port is done for xbox it is all set ready to go there's just no communication from xbox to get it to the store and then they can then process it to get it going so that people can buy it on day one which then hurts the studio as well though michael because day one is always the biggest splash you get right mm -hmm. that's when you should see the biggest impact of players come in however I don't know if that's going to be the case now because it's coming later. Or does that tease Xbox players and go, hey, here it comes. We finally got you. Where you go. And because you can't get Black Myth Wukong, it might actually do them some good.